In this problem, we're asked to find the hydraulic radius of the triangular channel that's shown on the left. Um, the first thing I should mention is that this is an equilateral triangle, so all sides are equal and the angles are all equal to 60 degrees. Now the hydraulic radius, which is denoted as R sub H, is equal to the area of the flow So here it would be the area in blue. You would not consider the area in white. All of that divided by the wetted perimeter. So that would be the perimeter that, uh, of the channel that is touching water. So you wouldn't consider the top part um, right here. So let's calculate the area of the flow. We're going to divide it in, with, into two triangles and one rectangle. We have one measurement, one angle. So we're going to define H B and capital B. So the total area is the area of the rectangle, which is B times H plus two times the area of the, the triangle. So that's one half B times H lowercase b times h. All right, so what are these actually equal to? Well, h is simply equal to 2 times the sine of 60. Lowercase b is equal to 2 times the cosine of 60. And capital B, well, that's just 3, which is the total length of the base of the triangle minus 2 times b. So that is 3 minus 4 times the cosine of 60. So let's get back to our expression for the hydraulic radius. So we said capital B, which is 3 minus 4 times cosine of 60 times h, which is 2 times the sine of 60, plus 2 times 1 half, which is really just 1, times 2 times the cosine of 60, times 2 sine 60. OK. All right. All of that divided by 2 plus 3 plus 2. So 2 plus 3 plus 2. Um, these are in p squared divided by feet. If you run the numbers, you'll get 0 0.49 feet. And that's our answer. There's a PDF version of the worksheet in the description below. And thanks for watching.